In this video, we're going to take a quick look at lossless scaling, which just received a huge update, including lossless scaling frame generation 3, which is a big improvement over previous versions and can allow us to double or triple our FPS in absolutely any game, whether it be on Steam, PC Game Pass, standalone, or through emulation. With lossless scaling frame generation 3, the main improvements are better quality images at 2 and 3 times frame gen, a 40% reduction in GPU load for times 2 frame generation, improved latency, and the option to increase the frame multiplier to 20 times frame generation, although results are wildly variable when enabling this option and can introduce warping effects. So it's recommended to stick to the 2 and 3 times options available. Lossless scaling is available on Steam for a cheap one-time purchase. And once installed and when we open the app, we'll see our scaling mode set to auto, our scaling type set to off, although when we go in here, we'll see a list of upscalers such as FSR, and most importantly, we'll see our column containing frame generation. Here, we're going to select LSFG 3.0, the latest version containing all the new improvements. And for mode, we can choose 2, 3, 4, or custom, which contains our increase of 20 times frame generation. But I'm going to select two times on this occasion to demonstrate how lossless scaling works. In summary, the below options are fairly self explanatory, where cursor is for controlling our cursor, rendering is for our vsync options, which I'm going to leave as default, with max frame latency set to 3. We have HDR support, G-Sync support I recommend turning off, and Draw FPS we can turn on to see our FPS displayed on screen, and for Capture API leave this as DXGI, and the rest of the options we have Auto, Auto, and for our behavior, Off and Off. So I've currently got Elden Ring open, and in Legion Space I've got the TDP set to performance of 20 watts, and our base FPS is currently 48 in this area. So what I'm going to do is drag up from the bottom, select lossless scaling, and with LSFG set to 3.0 and our mode set to times 2 with FSR and sharpness on full, I'm going to select scale and I've got 5 seconds to switch to Elden Ring. And you can see the screen's going to flash, and our FPS has gone from 47 to 90 FPS. This time we're playing Hogwarts Legacy in the open world, and like Elden Ring, I've got this set to 800p, and for settings, I've got everything on low with performance mode set to 20 watts. So, on this occasion, we're going to go back to Lost the Scaling, and I'm going to change the rendering from Sync Mode Default to Off and I'm going to set the lossless scaling frame generation to 3 and this time set the mode to times 3 frame generation set scaling type to off choose scale go back to Hogwarts Legacy and we'll see that we go from 60 to about 120 140 if we go into Legion Space I change the TDP to 30 watt. Might squeeze a bit more FPS. See, it's going up to like 165 there. So now, if we go back to lost the scaling, select unscale. This time, we're going to choose four times frame generation. Select scale with sync mode off. We're getting 160 from 48, 186 there. So almost 200 FPS. But let's go back to loss of scaling. Change from times four to custom. And we're gonna put this all the way up to 20. Unscale, scale. Let's go back to Hogwarts. You'll see 
we're going up to like 360 but when we turn the camera we get some crazy warping effects and huge input lag but you can see we're going from like 20 FPS to 360 not the best way to play the game so if we go back and reduce this to 10 it's making it really hard for me to get back because the frame generation is just taking over everything on scale change it to 10 rescale go back to Hogwarts Ten times frame generation, not much warping. We've gone down to 30 because we take a performance hit. And obviously we're getting the 10 times, we're getting 330 FPS. The input lag isn't too bad. Let's try flying. Got a bit of warping there. It's not too bad, but we're not going to benefit much from this considering we're using a 144 Hz screen on the Legion Go. So let's try one more game. So now we're on Red Dead Redemption 2 in the open world, and we're getting about 60 to 70 FPS, 800p, FSR set to balanced everything on low except for textures which are on ultra let's open loss the scaling lsfg on 3.0 mode set to x2 scale we're going to jump from about 60 70 up to about 120 fps and it's looking and feeling pretty good so far so we can bump this up to times three. And scale, scale. FPS has gone down to about 54 and we're going up to 160 FPS. It's not much input lag. still looks and feels pretty good let's try times 4 so now it's gone down to 52 on base FPS it's gone up to nearly 200 input lag isn't too bad looks and feels fine so now let's try out custom go 10 times and scale So FPS has gone down to 36, we're getting some warping in the bottom left corner there. Going from 30 FPS up to nearly 300. Yeah, there's warping and ghosting all over the character when we move the camera. So I'd say two, three or four times is good for this game. So let's just try 20 times for the fun of it. Unscale, rescale, rendering mode off. Heavy warping, 25 FPS base, going up to 330, it looks absolutely horrible. Input lag is like 
half a second to three quarters of a second delay. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty bad. So let's go back. Put this on two times scale. We've got FSR on in game. So 120 looks clean. So before we end the video, I want to show you how to add a shortcut key to the back button on your right Legion Go controller so we can turn on the scale and unscale whenever we like. So let's go to settings and you can see that the scale hotkey is Control Alt and S. What we want to do is press the Legion L button to bring up Legion Space and in Legion Space we want to go to controllers button mapping let's go on view edit layout select rear view and you can see here the M3 which is the very back button on the right Legion Go controller I've got this set to left control alt and S so if we click on this again delete the three button combo, control, alt and S, making sure to choose key combinations at the top here. Press Y to confirm the command. So I'm going to press my back button on my Legion Go right controller. We can see that I've gone from 76 FPS, 80, to about 160 FPS. So that's a quick way to get scale and unscale set up on your Legion Go with a nice hotkey. With Red Dead Redemption 2 I had a bit of an issue where it just wouldn't activate, but with some games like this, Forza Horizon 5 works absolutely fine. So now when I unscale again with the back button, you can see my LSFG FPS and base FPS are within the same values. And if I press it again. My FPS changes in an instant. As a recommendation from the lossless scaling developer, we can cap our FPS in game or with a third party application such as River Tuner to achieve consistent frame rates when lossless scaling is active so that our FPS doesn't exceed our desired amount and our GPU load remains at a steady level. So we can see here I've got my frame rate set to 72 FPS in Forza Horizon 5 and when I press back and activate loss the scaling I'll go to 145 FPS and here we can take full advantage of the Legion Go's 144Hz screen I have my graphics set to low and FSR set to quality so I hope this video gave you a bit of insight into lossless scaling frame generation 3 on Windows based handhelds. And if you enjoyed, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.